This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast for Friday, March 11th, 2022. And it was 104 weeks ago today that we kind of started the pandemic. It was Friday the 13th. Wow. Yeah. Two years ago. Just ahead of the March break. Yep. So it's kind of been two years. Yeah. Crazy. And I'm not going to say where has the time gone. <laughs> I don't feel like. Feels a lot longer than two years, I'll yeah, be honest. When I stop and think true. about it. Because I remember, and we've talked about it several times, but Everybody I do, has. I remember yeah. that day. And it, yeah. it's, it seems true. so long ago, longer than two years. Bill Glisky and I, Bill of the Cheap Seats fame, where mm-hmm. he and I were discussing, I think it was probably after a couple of weeks because he was still in the office. You were working from home by that point. Okay. And he had said to John, our owner, because it would have been back in February, and they said, look, this pandemic that's over in China, if we have to do anything here, we're putting together a plan. And then, of course, it, it develops. Yeah. So I think by April, I was in the office. Bill was like many feet over on the other side, and John was there. <laughs> and Bill turned to John. He said, by the way, I owe you an apology. And Bill's like, why? What, what happened? He said, when you told us that back in February, my first thought is, wow, what an overreaction. You know, just, I mean, yeah. and not even to plan. And I'm not criticizing Bill. I don't think it was Bill. alone. A lot it of people like, thought that. Like, what? Yeah. You know, so... It, yeah. So it's funny how, okay, yeah, it caught us off guard. So one of my memories early on was, yeah, I thought the same thing. We're not going to have to work from home. What are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. It's over there. Yeah. Why would we worry about it? We always hear about stuff over, over there. there. You know, Ebola's only over there. This stuff never comes to North America. Two years. Two years, practically today, the 13th would mm-hmm. have been. Although I read something that said it was two years ago today, it was officially named a pandemic. Oh, okay. Uh, by uh, Kind of started by the a little World bit before Health that, but Organization. this was the day. Yeah, that it was actually named. Oh, okay, okay everybody, we actually have a worldwide pandemic. And then what would be two days later, mm-hmm. it would kind of hit Canada. So, well, anyway, one thing we're hoping up. doesn't come here and stays over there, of course, is what's happening in Ukraine. And Boy, nice to see earlier yeah. this morning, um, the city of Belleville showing their support by having a special flag racing right. at the Quinney Sports and Wellness Center. City, uh, great city of Quinney West did that already. Yep. They've done something. Mm-hmm. We're all kind of moving along, doing our things. Uh, I believe Picton also had yep. um, a an event in their town to show their support. And Belleville's doing it today. So great to see. And then we're, we're constantly daily hearing of new businesses that are pulling out operations or no longer sending supply, whatever, to Russia. Mm-hmm. We talked about, you know, McDonald's and all of one. these other ones yeah. that are, are not going to do it. And somebody uh, on the lighter side had up on, I'm pretty sure it was Instagram, uh, you, they opened a fridge door and there were 50 McDonald's cheeseburgers yes, in I there. Yes, I saw that. He went to McDonald's and it's ordered like, well, a I'm not bunch. getting any. Cause, and somebody had said that when McDonald's opened... In 1990, Mm -hmm. that's when Russia opened. That that they made that connection. That with McDonald's coming to Russia after the fall of the Berlin Wall, Russia is now open for business. Because what was more iconic of the United States to Russians? Mm -hmm. Probably Disney World, Mickey Mouse, and McDonald's. You know how long that took to get a McDonald's in Russia? No. Because I, I read that story. It took, it was in the works for about 17 years. Oh my gosh. They tried to get McDonald's into Russia. And it took the fall of the it Berlin took, Wall. Yeah, 17 years they'd been working on opening. Wow. Up. Yeah. So the, the parallel they draw is with McDonald's now closing in mm-hmm. Russia, Russia's closed. Mm-hmm. So that to the, the citizens of Russia is, it must be serious if McDonald's well, said we don't you, want to be here. You mentioned that. How do the residents of Russia... How, how can they not know what's going on has been the question stated. And you th- they've got to realize with companies pulling out, okay, well mm-hmm. now why why is what we're doing supposed to be good if these companies are leaving? And with McDonald's leaving, I would think that would be a huge statement yeah, to them. Like they, they got to, like, right? If we're just liberating. And I'm so, not saying all Russians no, don't no. know or are aware uh-huh. because we've yeah. seen Russians leaving Russia. Um, because they are aware of what's going on. But yeah. So all of these are going Definitely on. Definitely a statement. And we uh, here in the Western world have made Vladimir Putin public enemy number one, two, three, four, five, and eight. We don't like him. <laughs> we don't like him. No. We don't like anything he stands for. Is, is the news slanted against him for everything he does? Absolutely, because 
you know, like like most things, and I I made the offhanded joke not on air, but I can say it in a podcast. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer probably had his good qualities, but what's he known for? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm sure he did some good things for his people, but overall, he just made these oligarchs more rich. I don't know rich. that Vladimir Putin has done good things. I, I don't, don't know. know that. Yeah, I don't know, but maybe <laughs> some people maybe some things. people would say that. But and, and again, he's I go clearly back, not doing good things now. Yeah. But there are good things. I don't, I don't know, know that a woman who lives beside a friend of ours. She's 90 years old from Austria. I don't know if I've told this story before. And uh, so our friends and their children were talking to her one day and however it came up. And she said, you know what? In the Second World War, we thought Hitler was the greatest man because he got us jobs and he got us prosperity after the depression in Austria, in Austria mm-hmm. to Germany. She said, it wasn't until the war was over because we did, there was no internet, right? There was no, no Western news. There wouldn't be the news there but is today. It, do you know what it took for us to finally believe that what was going on in concentration camps was, was real happening. and yeah. happening? And that's why we came to Canada. We had to get out. So it's not the, the Russian people who want to buy in. They've lived there their whole time mm-hmm. and they have no other, not a, no other choice. That's their lifestyle. That's the the prism by which they see mm-hmm. the world. Yep. And so, yeah, maybe the internet does show them there are different ways in the world, but why if would they, they can, assume it's better? If they can access it. If they can. Yeah. Which they couldn't in Austria in 1945, no. 46, but they could by 47, and that's why a lot of them left and, and came. So, no, I can't assume that they all know or believe it. But yeah, when all these businesses come out, but here in the Western world, we've decided and we've begun to voice our displeasure with him with what we think should happen, which involves his demise. Well, Facebook now has rules, right? Mm-hmm. Based they were, on they hate were very speech. loud about yeah. it. And they said, no, we're going to put a stop to it. We're mm-hmm. going to um, anything negative or disparaging, um, combative. We're, we're taking it off. We're not going to have you can't do it. You're going to be suspended. You're off. So here comes, we think Putin should die. What's Facebook going to do about it now that the Western world wants to have that sort of stuff? We didn't like it when it was Russian interference. We had them Mm -hmm. wipe all of their accounts. So what happens when we, as our keyboard warriors, decide that we want to weigh in? (laughs) Well, they're going to let you. In, In the context of the Ukrainian invasion, The temporary policy has been changed and applied to Ukraine, Russia, Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Slovakia, Hungary, and Romania. So posts that call for Putin's or Lukashenko's death, which I believe is his right-hand man, Mm -hmm. um, if, if there are posts calling for their death, they will only be removed if they target other individuals or if there are indications the threat is credible. Right. So making the offhanded comment. That how come somebody hasn't gotten him yet? Yeah. Right. That's okay. That's okay. But if Saying, there's. Saying I bought a plane ticket, I packed a gun <laughs> yeah. and I'm coming for Look you. Look what I'm going to do. Yeah. Here's my plan in detail. Right. You're. Probably not. Here's not my passport posted. number. Yeah. yeah. Or if it leads to other threats against yeah. others, then it won't be allowed. But according to Facebook, they're going to lift their policy in order to allow this to be out there in certain areas. And yeah. It does create that discussion of, okay, I'm not going to argue that my feelings aren't similar to this, but... (laughs) I'm not the type of person to run to a keyboard anyway. No, I'm not either. But I I mean, I can understand how some people want to vent and they want to get it out there. But there's a fine line. You allow it for this. Mm -hmm. Now you get to choose what you allow it for and what you don't. And again, it leads to that issue of... Well, okay, why is this okay and this isn't? Should you're this try, be allowed? Yeah. This shouldn't be allowed. So you're I kind of feel like it's all or nothing. You're trying to stuff the genie back in the bottle. Yeah, and then and let him out a little bit, but yeah. not all the way. Well, I can let the genie out, but you can't. Mm-hmm. Also, that because you know what? I, the parallel, since we talked about it on the air, the parallel in my head is Osama bin Laden. Everybody was all forgetting that guy. And if you put that up on Facebook, there was no discussion that that was bad everybody because was everybody in agreed. Yeah. But it wasn't that everybody agreed that created the rule. It was that it created misinformation and division. So there was An consensus. Yeah. Consensus yeah. was never part of the, of the rule. Yeah. Oh, it's okay as long as everybody agrees. No, it's, it's either right or it's wrong. You know, it's either legal or it isn't legal. If everybody says, well, we're all going to drive 120 on the 401, doesn't make it legal. Mm-hmm. The speed limit is still 100, whether we all go 120 or not. <laughs> it doesn't change it. It doesn't change it. We're just not being 
pulled over and arrested for doing 115, but it's still illegal. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, it's interesting to me that. And that you know, is an interesting point. And it, it doesn't so, make it right that doesn't everybody make it right, agrees the, this. And it doesn't mean this. you're right because Facebook doesn't take it down. Mm-hmm. It just means they won't take it down. Yeah. So we'll we'll see where it goes. It's, see, and then yes, and then I see the avenue that you open the door a little bit. Yeah. And others tend to want try to push it open further, mm-hmm. and that's where we get into trouble too, because then it just explodes into well, no, that's not what we're saying, or no, that's not. Yeah. Quote unquote right. Right. Or that's where we wanted to go with it. So what's the difference between saying I want Putin dead and I want my neighbor who never mows his lawn dead? Most well, people will a, say there's a huge difference. There's a huge difference. But, but to the person who's <laughs> mad at their neighbor, it's like, well, I just said yeah. that I just used the same word. Uh, exactly. So, yeah. So it's. You know. Yeah. yeah. Also, this morning, Sherry Meeks was on the show from the Belleville Police Polar Plunge, Plunge In support of Special Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're going in the bay this afternoon at one o'clock. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Inspector Sherry Meeks. How are you? We're great. Good. How are you? When Sherry Good. isn't out fighting crime. When she isn't out raising money for the United Way, she's jumping in the bay for a very good reason. Are you going in? I am, just like last year. Yep. Wonderful. And you and the fire chief kind of challenged each other this year, correct? We have, but we also have um, Chief Callahan from here, uh, Deputy Chief Chris Berry, uh, Inspector Auberton, and then a few of our members as well, and uh, some of our special constables. So, oh, uh, my goodness. Cool. All right, so there's, wow. a ch- there's this challenge polar plunge going on tomorrow. First of all, why are you doing it? Um, we're doing it for what's most important, which is for Special Olympics Ontario and to support the athletes across the province, um, but also our own athletes here locally. We have more than 80 athletes locally um, that have competed prior to the pandemic, and they're looking to, the Belleville and Quinty West Special Olympics Committee is looking to resurge that, our local Special Olympics program, and they're looking for volunteers and anything to help support that. Now, you said, like last year, you're doing it again this year. How long have you been involved with raising money for the Special Olympics inspector? Uh, well, I've been doing the torch run since I got hired here, so 26 years. Wow, mm, okay. that's incredible. And, yeah. I mean, you could have done you know a 2k walk you you could have done a bouncy castle like why jump in the bay in march i don't know it's uh you know <laughs> it's uh it's for a good cause right yeah absolutely how are we going to raise the money people come out and watch uh yeah and um they can donate online uh polar pledge ontario um there's several teams listed there obviously the fire department's listed there belleville police polar bears are listed there um, we have Belleville Probation and Parole that are also joining us this year. So lots of different ways to go on Polar Plunge Ontario um, and donate via online. But, uh, yeah, people can come out this year and cheer us on as well. And what time we is will, it taking place? It's 1 p.m., and we will be behind the area of the Quinty Rowing Club. Right. Oh. So from 1 to about 103. That's it. <laughs> Pretty well that. In and out. And we would not advocate that you speed, then meet a police officer, then give money. Don't do it that way. Yeah, don't do that. No. Go, yeah. go online and do it safely and properly. And thanks for all you're doing in the community. That's awesome. Now, is there a goal that you're hoping to achieve? Yeah, actually, we set a goal we wanted to beat last year. And so okay. last year, roughly, we were at about 3,800, okay. approximately. Yep. This year, I set 5,000, and I'm happy to say this morning we were at 4950. So I think it's going to happen. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. That's yeah. awesome. Well, good. And we're actually, Cherry and Mark, we're actually the top three in the province right now. Whoa. That's incredible. All right, then. Yeah. Our police yeah. department, your team is. Yeah, the, the t- our team is. Absolutely. Yes. That's amazing. Good for you. Well, hats off to you guys and, and good luck. <laughs> Weather should be great going on today behind the rowing club uh, near the Herkimer Boat Launch. Bring along a little bit of money if you can yes. and uh, cheer them on cheer as they go on. Nice work out there for the uh, Special Olympics and thanks for checking in this morning. Thank you so much, Cherry and Mark. I appreciate your support. Help them. Get on uh, polarplunge.ca. It's a horrifying sight to look at. <laughs> people <laughs> jumping through ice. And st- I can't watch What they're it. doing. It's and just... The, and they well, have people stand there. souls. Then they get hit like with ice cold oh water. My gosh. And the way your body reacts and contorts. And it's like, I can feel it. It's painful. Watch it. So give them money, okay? <laughs> and we'll hear just how much money you you do give them. Uh, Sherry's going to join us again on Monday. I'm looking forward to speaking with her and getting an update. Yeah. And hearing I mean, about how today goes. Because there's also... Now, it's a winter travel advisory because we're 
we're going to get snow this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> into and into the day. weekend. Yeah. But it's the March break kickoff. It is uh, daylight saving beginning on Sunday morning at 2 a.m. So get that done. So we're on time on Monday morning. Enjoy your March break. If you're going anywhere, if you're just hanging out, kids, it's good talking to you. We'll talk to you again in about 10 days. <laughs> Enjoy your March break. It's Mark and Charity mornings here on 95.5 Hits FM with the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Wherever you get your podcasts, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Prayers for Ukraine and peace. And we'll talk to you on Monday.